Hey, Knuckle Draggers, Jack with Sword Survival, and today we're going to take a look at a couple items I've gotten in from Amazon Wish, more survival items. Uh, first one we're going to look at is a handsaw. Can't go wrong with a handsaw. I really don't like the little ones with the rings on them. There's a couple other ones out there that are pretty good. Uh, All together for this floor guard, I paid around $9. Uh, shipping was free to me because I'm a Prime member for Amazon, but... Uh, Still pretty inexpensive. All right, getting it open. Good size here. Just a uh, reference there. About half the length of my forearm. If you look at the back, you got a lock on the back. So, uh, all together, from top to end here, it is the length of my forearm. Uh, if you look at it, it's got dual sided teeth on it here. Um, once it's locked out, uh, pretty good. It stays stays locked out like that. Like I said, to release it, you got to hit this button to release the blade. Uh, it'll lock in two different positions apparently, so be sure you push all the way in. Not a bad buy. Um, a saw, it's a great thing to have in your pack. Cut wood, help you when you're building a shelter, things like that. Uh, I really don't like the ones on the on the Gerbers and stuff like that. I mean, it's fine. They're they're not bad saws, but they're only about that long, so. It's going to take you a long time, and you're not really going to be able to cut through a big piece of wood. If you do, you're just going to have to keep rolling the piece of wood and cutting through it. So, uh, floor guard, $9 on Amazon. I'd have to say, great purchase. Worth, worth the 9 bucks I paid for it. If you look, if it comes loose on here, and you look at it, there's a Phillips screw. And on the opposite side, you have the nut on there. That way, uh, if it starts to come loose, obviously, it's set into the into the floor guard itself so all you'd have to do is tighten the screw up to tighten the blade back up not any play in the blade altogether pretty solid definitely happy um glad i spent the nine bucks on this next item we're gonna look at is an axe so uh, i bought a shred on there it was 19 dollars and some change on there I can tell you I've, I've already taken it out once out of the box just to look at it as soon as I got it in. Uh, satisfied with it. However, the case, to me, I think that the uh, shred case is, well, it's garbage. It's plastic. Um, you have one belt loop on there, so I'm going to have to either, A, shove it down in my, in my bag the way it is with the case on it. I, I don't like wearing an axe on my belt. Unsnaps. Flips open, like I said, very, very cheap case. However, the axe itself, like I said, I paid $20 for this item. The axe itself, I'm actually, uh, I'm happy with the axe. It's not the case. But then again, some people, like I said, they, they like to throw their axe on the outside. I can't, it doesn't have a molly attachment or snap so that I can snap it on there. It's just got the, the one belt loop. As you can see, very very cheaply constructed case. However, the shred axe itself, um, solid one piece here. So you ain't got to worry about the handle coming out or anything. If you look at it, I'm just going to hold it up there. As you can see, solid construction on there. The handle, it's got a rubberized handle on it. And again, all one piece. Pretty sharp coming out of the box. So. Straight axe, is it worth the 20 bucks? Absolutely worth the 20 bucks. Like I said, the only thing is, is the case is garbage. So A, I might make a case for it, or B, I'll just toss it inside my bag the way it is, just like that. So it's easily obtainable if I need to get it out. Um, $20, again, I'll include the link in the description at the bottom. Uh, last item we have here, it's a, it's a wish item, actually. I haven't opened a wish item in a while. But this, and I have one from before that I purchased. Actually, my mother-in-law purchased it through Wish for me. It's a hammock. However, this one's a little different than the last one I have. Uh, all of them are basically made out of parachute material. Have nylon cords on them so you can attach it. Um, this one, however, uh, I'm not going to be able to get it all the way out. I'll take it out of the bag to show you what it comes in. But hammock inside two bags here. Open the second one. It's in a self-contained bag, and it's made out of a parachute material itself. So if you see it's made out of parachute material itself, definitely good. Normally, if it's like the, the other one I have, it's actually attached, and it is. It's attached to the hammock itself. So when you're done, you don't have to worry about losing the bag or anything. It's always going to be attached to the hammock. 
Um, I got an army green one. That way when I'm in the field and things like that, I can use it if I need to. I actually have one of the hammocks from Wish I've had for about three years now. Um, the last one I paid $8 for, it's actually in my military Humvee. I have it from bar to bar and the inside of the Humvee works out perfect. I can sleep inside of it if we're out in the field and I have some downtime. This one, however, not gonna be able to do that with this one. This one's a little different. So the one I ordered off Wish this time was $20. And as, as I stated before, you can see the ends here. They come with clips on them. It's already got some nylon cord on there. This fed through the bottom of the bag. This stuff's actually pretty durable. The hooks here last a pretty good while. Um, the one I got this time, however, like I said, it's different. This one has the bug screen over it. So it's the hammock and it's got a bug screen over the top. When I was in Colorado, the mosquitoes were horrible. If you go to JRTC down in Louisiana, the mosquitoes are horrible. That being said, I wanted something to where those little boogers couldn't get to me and uh, didn't lose any sleep. Definitely think that I got that out of it. They send some extra, extra cord with it. Some extra cordage right here, and that's to tie the bug netting up and away from your face. That way, when you're sleeping, it's not laying on top of you. Other things that are in there, these are awesome. These are a little bit more uh, durable than the last ones that came with my other hammock. And uh, they send you the nylon strap that also goes through it, and that is for when you're when you're hanging it up. So they pretty well send you everything. Twenty dollars though, and it's great buy. Um, these things last for forever. Like I said, it's made out of the same material the parachutes are. So if you look at it, it's a silky, silky material. Um, one thing I would encourage though, hammocks are great. They don't take up mushroom in your pack. However, in cold weather. So in warm weather, never an issue. You'll stay warm in it, keeps you up off the ground. So bugs and crawlies and things like that aren't getting inside where you're sleeping at. But in cold weather, the air moves underneath you and it makes it colder than if you were actually sleeping on the ground because now you have air moving underneath you. They sell, it's almost like a sleeping bag that, that goes around the bottom of the hammock and actually it'll come over the top too and you can zip some of them. Um, on waste they run around $20 to $30 on Amazon. It varies. You can get it from $30 to $200. Depends on which one you want. But uh, with these, I would definitely, if you're going to use it in cold weather, I would advise going ahead and getting one of those under bags for the hammock itself. Unless you got a really, really heavy duty sleeping bag that you're going to be laying inside this hammock. But just, just for a little situational awareness, a little essay. So today we had the hammock with bug netting from Wish. Awesome buy. Just taking it out. I haven't hung it up yet. Once I actually put it up, I will... Uh, Post some pictures of it, but absolutely awesome buy for 20 bucks. We wish uh, that same hammock on Amazon runs around a hundred and something dollars, depending on where you look. Like I said, it's always going to vary by what buyer you get it off of or what seller you get it off of. Should I say, um, straight axe, awesome axe. However, like I said, uh, if you're looking at something with a better case, I would uh, definitely look at some of the other axes on there. There's some that are not pricey. I went for cost effective when I bought all this stuff because a lot of it I'm just using it for review but like I said plastic case not very great not too excited with the case but the axe itself definitely worth the twenty dollars one piece solid construction so you don't really have to worry about the handle busting out of it if you hit something it's made out of metal as well so worth the twenty bucks and lastly we have our floor guard saw great to have in any survival pack so that that way if you're gonna build a uh, survival hand or survival hooch or something of that nature or you're just cutting wood great buy so nine dollars they're, they're on there. there's a whole bunch of different ones for different prices Gerber sells them Florida guard um, there's thousands of manufacturers for these saws out there so it's really just do you want to buy it local at Walmart do you want to buy it at a sports warehouse do you want to buy it online it's just uh, everybody has their own preference me I just went with uh, what was cost-effective again nine dollars when i bought this very cheap and uh, if you have any questions for me on the items that i just went over today go ahead and hit me up in the comments below if you like what you saw hit the like button and if you want to continue seeing different items reviewed on there go ahead and subscribe button and the bell if you would like to be alerted anytime a new video gets posted uh, i've started posting guitar videos as well like i said i wasn't very good in the guitar videos but i'll post some more of those as well 
who knows, maybe I'll get better. Maybe some of my viewers will have some tips for me. And uh, if there's something you would like to see reviewed in terms of survival gear, just go ahead and hit me up in the comments as well. Hey, YouTube, you guys have a great day.